All right, let's take a look at what we have here. We're back with an Arduino Uno again. And all I have in it right now is the Blink Pin 13 routine, which is connected to this photovoltaic optocoupler. And we have two P-channel MOSFETs, and the circuit would work the same with N-channel if you just reverse the polarity. And as you can see, I'm blinking the LED on and off. This is a bi-directional output. Uh, you can probably switch AC. Uh, I'm sure you can switch AC with it. But there is no polarity like you have a normal MOSFET circuit that has to be connected a particular way. In addition, there is complete electrical isolation between the output circuit and the uh, Arduino itself. Very easy to connect. Took me about two minutes to wire the circuit up. Very easy to do. So we're going to look at the schematic on this and plenty of other things as well. All right, here's a photo of the circuit you saw in the previous part of the video. Here's the VOM1271 photovoltaic optocoupler. Here are my two power MOSFETs. And that's all there is to it. There is no external circuitry, just the photovoltaic optocoupler and the two power MOSFETs. Quickly again, this is the VOM1271 photovoltaic optocoupler. Has an emitter LED like almost any other optocoupler. Has a series of photodiodes connected in their voltage output configuration. The device also has the internal turnoff circuitry. So when you're powering a MOSFET or two with this, you don't need gate bleeder resistors and so forth. All right, if you saw my other video, this should look a little bit familiar to you, but there is a few differences. Again, I'm using the VOM1271 or similar photovoltaic optocoupler, but I have two IRF520 power MOSFETs. They are rated at 9 amps at 200 volts. And they are connected source to source, gate to gate, gates go to positive, source goes to negative. But there's an additional thing that I've done. I have brought the two sources out to the edge of the board. So this is how I wired my module. I have acts, I can use it drain to drain, and it would be more or less a, a big analog switch or you can use it as a one potential for these type things is using four of them to do an H bridge and this one could handle uh, safely 8 amps at 180 volts if you needed to go something that crazy for an H bridge. My switch circuit was more based on the ideas from the PVT 212 that I discussed in an earlier video, which was only good for about 825 milliamps at 150 volts, is where mine goes to 200 and can handle 9 or whatever the MOSFETs are set for. By using the three pin configuration, I can do this. I can use it drain to drain with an AC or analog power source. I can use it as a single. Um, for example, a single MOSFET, such as uh, with a separate power supply and a load configured as, as seen here, or I could just connect the two drains together and have a 200 uh, volt 18 amp output by connecting drain to drain. I have to have an external power supply and then there is my load. But if I'm connecting the device such as this, it doesn't need an external power supply except what you're switching. So that's that. Okay, so ends this particular video. Here's the circuit again. Depends on the value of your MOSFETs. 
And so I hope this was useful to you. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.